Dear clients and business partners, as your legal advisors, we would like to inform you that the State Migration Authorities has developed a new checklist, which will be used as a special document in order to identify whether Russian companies are compliant with migration rules or not. This list includes particular issues, which would include, for example, uh, identification whether the company concludes employment agreements with foreign citizens, whether the company has particular permission to, to hire foreign citizens, or, for example, whether the company obtains work permits for its foreign employees. Of course, this document will be helpful for migration authorities first, but we would highly recommend to use this document as a special guideline for self-assessment as well. As a follow-up to our previous video with regard to migration registration, we would like to share with you some practical guidelines and legal updates on new migration rules. As you already know, all employees, foreign citizens, must be registered on the place of their actual living, personally or with use of the relevant post office on the place of their location. Unfortunately, it is impossible to make this formality workable uh, with the use of third party under the power of attorney. However, if we take an employer who is an employer for this foreign citizen, it is possible that this company as employer concludes a relevant uh, lease agreement with the landlord uh, uh, and this contract will include particular provisions specifying that this particular foreign citizen will live on these premises. Having this document on hand, it is possible to arrange migration registration by third party on the place of living of the employee. Please know that um, being not a hosting party, the employer will not be liable uh, in case of failure to complete migration registration by this foreign citizen. However, it is extremely important to be in line with the actual address of the employee's living in order to complete particular migration forms, in order to complete particular uh, documents needed for notifying migration authorities, and so on and so forth. So it is very important to be in line with, uh, with your employee, to be informed uh, on the place of his actual living and uh, to be able to arrange your document workflow properly. We also have to inform you that from January 16 next year, each employer hiring foreign citizens must ensure that they are compliant with their terms and conditions of stay and leave the country in time. Please note that right now the state migration authorities develops a particular list of actions that must be completed by each employer. For instance, each employer will, will be uh, required to uh, notify their foreign citizen in writing about the terms and conditions of their stay under the particular visa and inform about the time when this employee should leave the country. Moreover, each employer must uh, notify state immigration authorities each time the employee, the expert, failed to comply with immigration rules. Dear colleagues, also have to inform you that from January 16 next year, each employer hiring foreign citizens must ensure that such foreign employees comply with the terms and conditions of their stay in Russia and that they leave the country in time. Please note that currently the state immigration authorities develop particular uh, list of actions that must be completed by each company to make this happen. For example, one of these actions is uh, notifying for an employee in writing about the terms and conditions of his stay and at which time he or she must leave the country. Another action is uh, notifying the state migration authorities each time when the foreign employee failed to comply with migration rules. Of course, all practical solutions are not stable and changed in time. That's why, if you have any questions or need our guidance, please refer to us, please contact us. We will be happy to help you. Take care and thank you.